Those filthy Extinction Rebellion maniacs sure pick their moments, don't they? As the UK grapples with petrol prices about to soar to £2 a litre and a full-scale energy crisis, the eco-loons are planning their biggest action yet. Next month, they intend to block the country's major oil refineries and bring London to a standstill with what they describe as the largest act of civil resistance in UK history. How clueless are these cretins? It just makes me so angry that for the past few years, the government has been beholden to the craven green lobby and that odd little Swedish teenager, Greta Thunberg, who should have stayed at school instead of helping to create a ludicrous situation where the West has become dependent on Russia for our energy. But Putin's invasion of Ukraine has changed everything. Other than, you know, the completely mad extremists like Exar and Insulate Britain, there is now wide acceptance that the UK must become energy independent. In 2022, the cost of living crisis trumps the so-called climate emergency, which we tackled over the next two decades with new technology and gradual change that doesn't cripple our economy. Sadly, the mistakes made by giving in to the green lobby mean the financial pain in the short term is likely to be catastrophic, actually, especially for the families and businesses hit hard by two years of unnecessary lockdowns. So Rishi Sunak must now concede the national insurance hike simply cannot go ahead, and he should also cut fuel duties to provide immediate relief. But in the medium term, the government must expand North Sea oil and gas to replace foreign imports. And as I said last night, frack, 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 without any delay, as the Foreign Secretary Liz Truss has been correctly urging privately. Now, do you know much of the anti-fracking nonsense has been propagated by the Russian government for reasons now abundantly obvious? As Matt Ridley has reported, the Russian government invested $95 million campaigning against shale gas, with RT running endless anti-fracking stories, including, by the way, comparing frackers to paedophiles. UK onshore oil and gas representative Charles McAllister said this week that the recovery of just 10 percent, just 10 percent of the estimated in place resource could see the UK become self-sufficient in natural gas for half a century. Now, I agree that in the long term, nuclear remains our best bet after complete neglect by both Labour and Tory administrations in fairness for the past three decades. But I do think for now, and I stress for now, the rush to net zero must die, especially the 78 percent carbon reduction target by 2035, because we can't carry on relying on nefarious powers for our energy anymore. End of story.